Hey guys, it's Maddie. Wait, why am I doing an intro right now? Hey guys, it's Maddie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you this full glam makeup look. Um, there are a lot of products and a lot of steps. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and without further ado, here is my full glam makeup tutorial. <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to be using are my Neutrogena oil-free cleansing wipes and whenever I do my makeup, um, I always use one of these first because if I'm doing my makeup like in the morning or in the middle of the day and I haven't worn any all day, I'll have like some oil on my T-zone, especially like around my nose, like this area. Um, so I'm just going to wipe this all down just so I don't like pack a bunch of oil into my skin. These work really, really well and they smell so good. They're like the pomegranate flavor. Flavor. They do not taste like pomegranates. They smell like them. They're, and it's like really refreshing and it kind of makes your like face tingle a little bit, like awake, wakes you up. It's really nice. So I'm just going to use this and then kind of leaves a wet like residue. So I'm just going to dry it off a little bit just before I like put anything on my face. Now I'm going to be using the Smashbox, please focus on the tube, the Smashbox Photo Finish, photo fin photo <laughs> photo finish Foundation Primer. Um, I've had this primer for a while and I really like it. Um, I'm really excited to try new stuff as well. I just haven't been able to get any new primers but I've been wanting to try a bunch of new stuff so I'll let you know when that happens but for right now this is what I'm using um, I really like the texture of it it makes my face feel like really velvety like, it's really really soft and I really like the way it makes my face feel so I just put that all over so now I'm gonna be using the Born This Way Foundation by Too Faced in Porcelain. This is the lightest shade because I am very, very fair. So I'm just gonna squeeze like a pump or two half pumps as I do um, onto my hand. And I'm gonna be using my damp beauty blender and I'm just gonna dab this on a couple of places. This foundation is really good. I'm sure if you guys watch makeup tutorials on YouTube, you have heard of it because it is all the rage right now, but it really is a great foundation. Um, it's a, it says it's full to medium coverage, but it's a full coverage foundation. And um, it works really well at like giving you a flawless and smooth complexion. And I really, really recommend it. Um, it's like not completely matte, but it's also not like a super dewy foundation. It's kind of like in between, which I really, really like. It's kind of the best of both worlds, so. So once my face is covered in foundation, I'm going to bring out my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla and, or light too, so this is the second lightest shade. Um, this is a really good concealer. It's very creamy. Um, it's pretty thick, um, but it is really, really nice and really helps cover up like dark circles, especially in blemishes too, because I have really terrible dark circles. So this like lightens up my face a lot, but if you're not, it isn't like super thick. I feel like I'm making it sound like it's really thick. It's not like the thickest concealer ever. But um, it's, it is definitely like a thick concealer, so if you're not a super like, if you don't want to feel like you have a ton of product on your face, I would recommend it, but to everyone else, I really would recommend it because it like brightens my face up so well. Um, I'm gonna put it like under my eyes in like a triangle shape, of course. Um, I'm gonna put some on my eyelids just because it like, it's like a primer before the primer basically. And any spots on my face, blemishes. Um, I don't have a ton of obvious ones just because the foundation covers them up really well, but um, yeah. So now I'm going to take 
my damn beauty blender again. I'm going to use this side and I'm going to pat that into my skin. Now I'm going to be taking my Anastasia um, powdered contour kit in light to medium and I'm going to be using this middle kind of banana powder looking shade um, to set my concealer under my eyes. Um, I'm going to be using my beauty blender again and I'm just going to take some of that powder on my beauty blender and set under my eyes, really pack it in. Um, I really like this powder because it's like a yellow tone and I have like very red toned skin so it helps like eliminate the redness under my eye and it helps set my concealer so that's really nice. I'm not going to be doing a ton just because I am doing cream contour so I'm going to need to set that too. I just want to make sure that this like my basic concealer is like set on my face. So now since we are doing a full glam makeup look I'm going to be using my Anastasia cream contour kit and I'm going to be contouring the heck out of my face. Um, yeah, so it's going to look pretty insane, just want to warn you. Um, I'm going to be taking my Sephora Pro Contour Highlight Brush. This is number 80, and I'm going to be taking the lightest color right here in the palette and just highlighting on my face where you're supposed to highlight. You can watch me, but yeah. Um, I'm just going to be taking this color and soaking my brush in it. Basically, you're gonna highlight everywhere on your face that like natural light hits. Now I'm going to be using my Sephora Pro Angled Contour Brush number 75 and I'm going to be using the middle contour color. Like look how crazy I look right now. It's pretty insane, it's pretty crazy. Okay, um, the makeup look is done. Thanks for watching. All right, now I'm gonna be taking an Eco Tools brush. Um, I do not recommend these brushes. This is the only brush in the pack that I actually liked. The other ones were really thin and hard. No offense, Eco Tools. Maybe I just got a bad pack, but um, I was not impressed. But I'm gonna be taking this brush. It's actually an eyeshadow brush, and I'm just gonna be dipping it into the same color I just used, and um, I'm gonna be contouring my nose. Hi guys. <laughs> so now you're probably like, Maddie, how the heck are you gonna blend this stuff in? I'm going to be using my handy dandy beauty blender, and I'm just gonna do like I did my foundation, just. Okay, now that all of that is blended in fairly well, um, I'm just gonna be setting my highlight. I'm gonna be setting my highlight with my Makeup Forever HD um, translucent powder, and I'm gonna be using my Beauty Blender yet again. So I'm just gonna take some of this on my Beauty Blender and So after we're done baking, I'm going to be using my IT Cosmetics CC Powder in Fair, this is the lightest shade, and I'm going to be taking my Sephora Must Have Large Powder Brush in number 30, and I'm just going to be applying this all over my face to set all of that stuff I just did and kind of blend it out even more. Now it is time for the most important part of the day, eyebrows. So I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color light brown and I'm just going to um, start from the bottom to make the shape I want it. This eyebrow is more curved and this one's more like square. 
so I kind of have to fake it a little bit, if you know what I mean. All right, my camera died in the middle of that, so I'm gonna have to like hurry it up a little bit. Um, I'm going to be using my Real Techniques blush brush to put on my blush. This is NARS Orgasm. Um, this brush is amazing. It was I got it at Walgreens for eight bucks, and I thought it was gonna be like a crappy brush. It's actually a really good brush, and it puts on blush like perfectly, like. So now, now for the eyeshadow, um, I'm going to be putting a piece of tape from the corner of my eye to the tip of my eyebrow, just so we will get a straight, precise line. Now I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, and I'm just going to put this on my eyelids. And just a little bit under my line, kind of under my line, under my eye as well. Realize now why the heck did I put the tape on before I put on my primer? I don't know, but I'll try it again. <laughs> now we're gonna put scotch tape on. Um, if you want to, this is what I do. Um, it reduces um, taking like how much makeup it takes off. If you just get a little bit of like powder, any type of powder will do, and just put a little tiny bit of powder on the tape, it should still stick. It just won't take off as much product, which is really nice. All right, I'm hoping this is going to stay on long enough for me to do my eye makeup or at least my eyeshadow but i'm really really stressed out because i don't know when it's going to turn off but that was really close up to my face i just realized that um first i'm going to be using this eyeshadow by trish i do not know what color it is but it's really pretty that just fell it's like the shimmery light brown color and i'm just going to be using that um on my um crease as a transition stay transition shade now I am going to be getting out my Urban Decay Naked 3 eyeshadow palette and I'm going to be going in with a mixture of Liar and can you see it? Liar and Factory these two colors and I'm gonna be going in with my Laura Mercier um, eyeshadow in Cognac. It's this kind of more uh, a warmer color red, while um, these are more the ones in the Naked palette are more like cool tone browns. Did I say red? I meant brown. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and put it on the outer corner. And now I'm going to be taking the color Trick. It's the gold color. And I'm just going to be putting that on my lid. And then I'm gonna be taking um, Strange, which is this lightest color. And I'm going to be putting it um, right in the middle on my lid. And then I'm gonna be putting that on my brow bone in inner corner. So yeah, um, now I'm going to take um, this brush and I'm going to be taking um, dark side and putting it um, right here under my eye. Now I'm gonna be taking Liar, which is one of the three colors that I mixed. And then I'm going to be taking 
trick that really sparkly orangey color and putting it on the inside. Now I'm going to be using my Tarte Clay Pot Eyeliner and a pointed liner brush number 92 from Sephora. And then it looks like that. So that actually turned out really well, I'm not gonna lie. But if you want to, you can smoke this out. I'm gonna keep it in a straight line, but that is your choice. Now I'm gonna be taking a blue eyeliner pencil. This one's from Jordana, it was like $1 at the drugstore. And then I'm gonna be lining my waterline with this blue because I have blue eyes and it makes it like pop. And it looks fantastic, so. I'm gonna be taking my beauty blender and like lightly bringing down this. I'm gonna be looking down. Actually, here, let me zoom in a little bit. All right, so I went ahead and put on my fake eyelashes and I put some of my Better Than Sex mascara on my bottom lashes and on my top lashes um, while the um, camera was charging. So sorry about that, you didn't get to see me do that. Um, I just, Hold them with tweezers and put the glue on it. Um, I'm gonna be using the Becca highlighter in Pearl. This is my favorite product of the entire existence of the world. Um, I do not have a fan brush right now, so I'm going to be using this crappy brush from Eco Tools because I don't have a fan brush. So I'm just gonna take some of this is the cream highlight, so I'm just gonna be taking it and putting it. Um, Um, for the final step, we are finally done. I'm gonna be taking just some lip balm. Moisturizing my lips before I use my Melted Too Faced Liquid Lipstick in Melted Sugar. This is the lightest shade. Um, so if you don't like that light of a nude, don't use it. Um, I just really like it. I think it looks really cool and makes your eyes like really stand out because you're um, not drawing attention to the lips, so. But this is the final look. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you try out this look, make sure to tweet it, Instagram it to me, tag me, all my social media will be below. Wait, no, I forgot one thing. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. Urban Decay Setting Spray. I always forget this step and then I forget and I freak out, so. I just, I keep missing my face. Where's the thing? Okay. And then I'm just gonna dry it off. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Yeah, if you do it, make sure you tag me in a picture or let me know um, if you like these videos, if you want me to keep doing makeup tutorials because I really enjoy doing them. And um, comment some questions below, tweet me some questions. Um, there's gonna be a Q&A coming up. So yeah, I really love you guys a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.